So hello everyone, I have with me Mobina Jamali, who is walking us through a tutorial of the Isaac Lab Reach Reinforcement Learning Task using the Universal Robots or UR10 with a gripper. Hi everyone, happy to be joining Lichi AI today, discussing one of the really interesting projects in DLI, which is to train a specific robot arm how to align its end effector pose to a certain moving target. For this tutorial, first we need to set up and configure our robot in Isaac Sim, and then train its policy in Isaac. Okay, so first we need to open Isaac Sim from Isaac Lab folder. So if you go to your terminal, and then I think you're on Linux, so you just need to run the command. So I will show you how to redo it again. I already have um, an instance open, but if I were to create another terminal, which I'm currently using the IDE cursor, which is similar to VS Code but any other terminal would be kind of the same. So first of all, I would have to activate the Conda environment for Isaac Lab um, and then type in the command Isaac Lab dash dash sim in order to launch Isaac Sim. But um, in my case, I already have it. So I just put um, the tutorial next to the Isaac Sim um, instance. So um, yeah, how do we go, go from here? Okay, great. So first we need to, because we are using UR10 robotic arm and also a specific reaper, we need to first load them as reference to our scene. So if you go to Isaac Sim assets on the bottom right, uh, bottom left, sorry, and under Isaac lab, mm -hmm. and then inside robots, uh, universal robots, and then, yeah, UR10 underline instantiable. If you just click on that, yes, and you just need to load that as reference. And then now we need to load the gripper. So inside the assets, if you just scroll down outside the Isaac, and then scroll down, you should see a folder called robotic. And then robotic 2F140 gripper, you just need to load that as reference also. So I have both inside here in the simulation. Okay, and now we need a single articulation. So we basically need to remove the articulation for the gripper. So if you click, cl uh, sorry, if you click on the gripper, robotic clef, yes, and then scroll down. Uh, inside the physics, you can just remove the articulation root. And then at this point, we are going to align the gripper exactly at the end effector position. Uh, there are many different ways to do it, but uh, I found like the easiest way is just to go to the edit option on top left. And then preferences. Okay, there is a stage option on the left. And if you scroll down under authoring, there is one uh, option, keep prim word transform when reparenting. You just need to disable that. And basically what it does, it, mm, it lets the gripper to be able to inherit the local transform of its parent. So if you just, inside the stage panel, drag the gripper, uh, or maybe like open the UR10 first, and then drag the gripper into the end effector pose. The EE link? Yes. And you can see that it instantly gets the position of the end effector. And that's exactly what we want. So now we can just enable that option again and okay, cool. bring the, drag the gripper out of the end vector to the word again. Perfect. Never saw something so easy before, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. There's also like robots assembler extension, but I found this to be easier. Um, yeah. So if you press the play button for simulation, you can see that although the gripper is at the position of the end effector, but there are not there is not any joint between them. They're not fixed. So we need to create a joint between these two. And for doing that, if you just open both the UR10 and gripper on the stage, uh, you can click on the end effector and then press the control button and click on the robotic base link. And then you just need to create a fixed joint. So yeah, nice. now they're all fixed together. That's it. You just need to save the USD file and then be ready to the next step for Isaac lab training. In this tutorial, we walk through configuring a robot arm in Isaac Sim. And in the next tutorial, we will take it a step further by training the robot with reinforcement learning in Isaac Lab.
If you have found this video helpful, consider subscribing as it helps a lot. I also want to take a moment to thank all my Patreon supporters. Without you, these tutorials wouldn't be possible. So thanks.